I'm uh, Nicholas Tilney. I'm <clears throat> the uh, Francis D. Moore Distinguished Professor of Surgery at Harvard Medical School, and I'm senior surgeon at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. In uh, 1954, a young plastic surgeon who just come back from training in cancer in, in, in New York um, came there, and the opportunity to, to do to transplant a kidney from an, a, he a healthy kidney from an identical twin to his identical twin brother who was dying of failure of his own organs came up and it worked very well and, and the patient uh, recovered, he was dying, totally dying, recovered, married his nurse, had a couple of kids, lived for a long time thereafter, per a perfectly normal life. This was an incredible departure from anything that had ever been done before. The, somebody somebody with, with failure of a vital organ could be in fact resurrected with, 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 with a new organ if it worked. So the, the next problem of course was how to do it between genetically dissimilar donor-recipient pairs. We, we can't transplant skin. No matter what we do, it, it rejects. But somehow, if you transplant an entire so-called composite graft, that skin and fat and muscle and bone and nerve, it works. And it works rather well. And some of these face transplants, as you know, have been absolutely spectacular. But in the future, I, uh, people are very excited about, about gene transplants, about you know, the human genome is being, is, is being cracked now. If you, if you could say, transplant the genes for diabetes, what a wonderful thing that would be.